Hello friends, today we're going to be checking out this Battlefield 1 uh, Sentry Armor. Uh, I guess it's a costume. Uh, it's incredibly heavy and it's taken a very long time to get together. And I'm still not done with it, but I just wanted to show you guys an uh, update on it. Since um, I've talked about it in the past and I haven't really shown too much. Uh, it consists of a bunch of different pieces of armor. Uh, and this, the, each one has been kind of tedious to get. Um, the World War One German sniper mask I've got in my head has been the hardest one to get so far. Um, I had to get somebody to custom make this for me, and uh, yeah, they don't sell them. So this is pretty cool. I I, I really like how this came out. Um, after a long time of wanting this, uh, I don't have a machine gun or anything yet, but I'm hopefully, hopefully I'm making one. So hopefully it comes out all right. Um, but yeah, so I'll just jump into like what I've got on essentially. So underneath this, I'm just wearing my uh, my American uniform. I'm supposed to have my British one with my 08 webbing, but um, it's at my grandma's house, so I, I just went ahead and put on my American one because it's close enough. On my arm, in the game, you can see it's got a full uh, arm of armor, full arm metal. So I've got like a a bicep piece, a sh uh, elbow piece, a I mean a forearm piece, a sh elbow piece, a bicep piece, and a, and a shoulder piece. And that's, you know, it's enough to cover the whole arm on this side. And uh, I think the tricky part is like rigging it up to my body since, you know, straps aren't really gonna, you can't really just strap stuff like that on. I have it kind of all like tied together um, onto my shoulders so it's, uh, the weight's a little bit more e evenly dis distributed. Um, because uh, my, my entire arm is probably about um, 30 pounds of metal. It's very heavy. I can't keep it up for very long. Uh, and then I've got my set of lobster armor, my German lobster armor. And this is incredibly heavy too. That's resting on my shoulders as well. Uh, I'd say this is probably like 15 or 20 pounds, maybe more. Um, but you know, it's pretty. I've talked about it before in my previous videos. I like it a lot. It's very cool. Um, I need to paint it. Uh, I think a silver color, like my arms, um, or take off the green paint. One of the two. Uh, and then, obviously, I need to paint my mask um, silver. It's a really long process to put on. The arms are very tedious to put each armor segment on in order and um, get them to stay on and everything, and get them comfortably fit. Um, I'm pretty, my arm's pretty, uh, articulated, I guess you could say. It moves, it moves just fine. Um, it's very heavy. Uh, and obviously this arm doesn't have any because in the, in the game this, this arm doesn't have any. But I have an extra set of armor, so if I did want two arms then I could. Um, but yeah, basically, uh, I've also got this, uh, Mauser holster on my, on my front, because that's what he wears in the game. It, I don't know if it droops this low, but that's just how I have it. Because uh, that's how it is in real life, not not in the game. But yeah, so I like how it's come together. Normally you'd have like a, your 08, you'd have your uh, 08 webbing on your back with your backpack and your like equipment or whatever. So um, that's all I'm missing because it's at my grandma's house. Yeah, but I'll go ahead and do like a mobility test or something to, um, demonstrate the flexibility of this thing. Okay, crawling is incredibly difficult in this. Uh, 
It is definitely, definitely a weakness if you fall down. It is very hard to, it's very hard to crawl once you're down. Armor's too big and it's, everything's really heavy. Um, also, you can tell it's very loud when you move, so you're not going to want to be very stealthy if you're wearing something like this. You're going to be up front and gunning. Uh, game, uh, you run very slow with the armor and I can see why, so I'm going to go ahead and do a, a run test. Okay, that was pretty tricky and my lobster armor started sliding off, but it was very loud and heavy. Whew, but I made it. And uh, I do not recommend running in this. This is more of a, a walking or a jogging type deal. Um, but as you can see the armor, it stayed on just fine. For the most part. I mean this might have split up a little bit, but other than that it stayed on pretty fine. Whew. So yeah. I guess that's going to be about it. There's not too much to it. I'll keep you guys updated when I paint and get everything colored. And hopefully I'll have a MG of some sort. Either a Vickers or a German MG0815 or something. I don't know. Okay, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Take it easy.